Jasper in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, writes, I am thinking about building my own speakers. <laughs> okay, good luck with that. I mean, a lot of people do. There's plenty of do-it-yourself programs out there. Uh, I've got the option to go active with DSP-based crossovers, and it seems like there are a lot of benefits. No passive components to color the signal, better phase alignment, easier tuning. But are there downsides too? What do you have to lose by ditching passive crossovers? Is it just complexity or are there sonic trade-offs I need to understand? Well, first off, consider that if you use DSP, you are digital. You are converting the sound to digital. And if it's in your loudspeaker, that could be another step that you may not want to take. For example, you have your system. At the output of the system is your power amplifier. What does it put out? Analog, right? Your power amplifier is putting out analog audio, all the watts and everything you kind of need, right? Or and you feed that into your speakers. In this case, of course, you have your preamplifier or your DAC. Either one are putting out the same thing your power amp is, analog. If you take that analog signal and you put it into a passive loudspeaker through the power amplifier, and you have passive components, that analog signal is just divided up and sent to the appropriate drivers. If you have a active loudspeaker using DSP, then that signal coming from your DAC or your preamplifier in analog has to go through an A to D converter, analog to digital converter, where it gets set, uh, now it's converted into digital audio and it runs through the DSP. And then it has to go through a DAC and back again to analog where it started and then into a power amplifier and then out to your tweeter and your woofer, right? So you got a lot of stuff going on there. And there are some great active speakers out there that use DSP and have all of that built in and they sound terrific. But I want you to be aware that that is one of the issues that you're gonna run into and it's never gonna be better because of that. So you do have to, you have to consider that. Um, and I think most active speakers go through that. Now, having said that, today, DSP, A to D, D to A, it's pretty darn transparent. Not perfect, but it's still pretty darn good. So it may not be a big worry. And what you always have to consider when you're doing this kind of stuff the passive crossover route is not as good as DSP. You don't have anywhere near the control that you do with DSP. So then it comes down to which, which of the um, flawed choices sound the best. Is it, if both are flawed, which one makes the most difference, right? And that's what you have to decide and play with. But I hope that answers your question. Otherwise, go for it. It can be a lot of fun. All right. Good luck. Thanks. Bye.